focus, man. Is it focusing? I think so. Yeah. Good morning. Is it recording? I hope. Yes. <laughs> what is up, Loud and Proud crowd? We're actually headed over to our house, my house right now. I stayed the night with my buddy Jeshua. It's his birthday today, 19. Um, but uh, we're headed over to our house to do a little install on the truck. I took off yesterday. As you guys know, I like to take my Sundays off when I can. Everybody's got to have at least one day for just downtime, hanging out with friends and family and hunting and stuff like that. So that's what I do. But uh, yeah, we're gonna get to installing another part here on the truck. And it should go easy, it's a pretty darn easy part, but then we might go do a little little boot shop at Rural King, so stay tuned. Tools you need out of here? Uh, socket set. Guys, look at this, uh, <laughs> look at the freaking soot back here now. Oh, oh my gosh. This is what I hated about my other truck was having that straight pipe with that uh, fuel pump turned up. All the soot you get on the back of your truck. That is nasty. And it's probably the reason why I will probably not ever stack a daily driver truck because the whole bed and cabin, everything will be covered in freaking soot. Dad's been looking at some batteries for the 7.3 here. He said he found some. I think he said NAPRA performance. He's looking at red tops and stuff. And he saw some Napper performance batteries that have a six year guarantee or they'll replace them or money back or whatever. Um, so anyways, he's probably gonna go with those. And uh, the reason for that is, is he's honestly, six years is pretty doggone good. We've never had him last more than three. And he said he's probably not gonna have the truck more than like another year or two. So it doesn't really see the point in spending an extra couple hundred bucks for, you know, red tops. Uh, but for this truck, what we're gonna be installing today is another part under the hood here. His soul intake is holding up good. Cold air intake's holding up good. Some guy said that he had a friend of his and the thing melted on him. But what we're gonna be replacing today is the intake elbow right here. So we're gonna re be replacing that with a three and a half inch. Get that pulled out here. This should be a really, really an easy install. Um, nothing too difficult. But it'll give it a little bit better look under there and it'll also help with a little bit added airflow. And I know a guy's gonna say, oh, you need to do the grid heater delete if you really wanna maximize that airflow. Um, and I get that, but given where we're located in the States, uh, we kinda need a grid heater or these things will start up really, really hard if you don't um, plug them in. So, get your little rubber boot. But uh, yeah, that's the part that we're gonna be installing. Didn't spend too much on that, less than 100 bucks, I think. So, I think I'm gonna be really happy with what I'm gonna use it for but yeah I think all you got to do is take off these two band clamps there's uh, one two three four five six ten mil bolts just swap those out and put it on and you get how long you think it's gonna take 10 minutes yeah 10 15 10 15 minutes yeah but uh, I'm trying to get my boy to do YouTube channel but he's in college right now <laughs> he's stacked up with books but uh, yeah let's try to get this done fairly quickly Oh, you know what guys, one, one thing I wanted to remind you guys, I'm thinking about giving away my aux beam light bar that I took off of my truck, my straight one that I took off of my white truck that was on the bottom of the bumper. Uh, reason for that is I just don't need it anymore. I probably turned the thing on like for a total of an hour worth of use of it. It's got a little bit of white overspray on the back of it from my Plasti Dip job. I don't know if I have a harness for it, but I might be able to get one to send with it. Uh, but I might just give it away. So I'll try to keep that in mind. I'll try to remember that. But uh, all you gotta do to enter, I'll just do that right now. I'll just totally make it up on the spot. All you gotta do is you gotta subscribe, like this video, leave a comment down below, and follow my Instagram, which I'll leave right here. It's bowhunterdie. The only thing that I'm gonna tell you about the comments is typically it's just, uh, you know, I'll pick a comment that, uh, you know, basically a comment for a winner. It'll go to a drawing, an electronic drawing, and pick somebody. But what I'm gonna do this time, because I'll sometimes I just have people spam the crap out of the comments with just like A, B, C, D, E, F, G, you know, so on and so forth. It's gotta be a comment that's kind of, has somewhat meaning behind it. So leave a comment down there as to, A, what video brought you to my channel? What's my favorite content of yours? 
and what's your favorite video of mine that I have on my channel and why. So keep that in mind, leave your comments down below and I will do a drawing down through those. I want to do the electronic drawing if it picks somebody who was just totally trying to spam the mess out of the comments with random stuff. I'm just gonna click redraw and it's gonna redraw until it picks a good, meaningful comment. Um, but I'm not gonna go through all of them and just pick some random person that I think I wanna give the thing to. So um, we're gonna do it that way. You know, try to give it to somebody who's gonna put a little bit of effort into it. But yeah, we're just gonna give it away. If you wanna go show them that light bar, it's that one sitting up on top there. It's a great light bar. Forty-two inch straight comes with the mounts and everything. I'm, I'm gonna. I'm already sub. I'm yeah. gonna subscribe. We've been friends forever. I'll, I'll subscribe for that light bar. <laughs> no, but I'm serious about the light bar. I'll give it away. I think I've got a box ready to ship it out. Laying over there. We don't have a box. I don't know who else would have a box. We've got a lot of boxes on around. What the heck this thing is for? I would imagine this little bracket is for mounting up the oil holding thing. Shouldn't be anything in here. Let me make sure there's no like metal shavings or crap. I think I see a couple. Just to make sure. All right, no shavings in there. It's pretty clean. Let's go get the seat on the truck. Now there was no real reason as to why I went with this one over I mean, any other one, really. It just says three and a half inch, three and a half inch. So I just figured why spend two hundred and fifty dollars when you can spend, you know, just shy of a hundred bucks. So that's the only reason I really went with this one. So what we're gonna do, get your boot for here, put that on, slide it on down all the way so it's snug. Get your clamp, slide it up here. Another clamp, slide it on. By the way, time to plug. Link in the description for uh, this intake if you guys want it. Which I know you all do if you guys want your trucks to be as awesome as mine and have lots of cool intake stuff. Link in bio, man. That was wedged in between the belt. That wouldn't have been great. Just would have been an added effect of burning and loud noises when the belt tears us to pieces. The final test. <laughs> okay. Oh, I could feel. I heard some hit, dude. I'm totally kidding. <laughs> I might not be kidding. We'll see. We're about to find out. Anyways, it should be good, bro. It, it's not any higher than the AFV thing. Oh, it definitely smacked. Dude, we're good. We're good. We're good. But uh, now, I don't know what I'm gonna notice by running this because if you think about it, like when we did the first gen, all the intercool piping that goes down to the intercooler all the way around, everything got changed to a bigger size. This is just going from whatever size this is, what two and a half, maybe three inch, um, to a three and a half inch, just from here to there. So I don't know if it's gonna be a huge difference, maybe just a little bit. Nonetheless, it looks freaking dope. So, you know, it's one of those deals, but uh, yeah. 
Let's go. I would just go for a test drive, but I think we're gonna go somewhere today anyway, so we'll just kinda go with you as we do that. Like I said guys, enter to win the 42 inch straight light bar. This is a very spontaneous thing. I just figured, you know what? I don't have a use for another straight light bar. It's a great light bar. Just don't need it. It doesn't cost you guys a freaking dime. All you gotta do, like the video, subscribe if you have not joined the team. Leave a comment down below. Like I said, I already gave you the details on how you gotta leave that comment. And follow my Instagram right here again. Um, do those things and I will pick somebody and get back with you. Try to keep in touch with you on uh, shipping information and stuff like that. But you have to continue watching the next couple videos to find out if you won the live bar. So make sure you guys do that. So now we're gonna, we're gonna get on the road here and uh, I don't think we're going to notice anything crazy with that thing, but uh, if we do, we'll let you know. Well boys, we just pulled up to join Team 4 spots here. We taking up all the parking spots here at Rural King. No, ordinarily, I wouldn't park over two lines, but I did right next to him just because I thought it was funny. And uh, there's a massive empty parking lot, so I ain't worried about it. But uh, let's go check out some boots. Look at this thing. Same color, just all stanced out. Bigger tires. Tommy is out for the haters. Oh, right there. Starts up like the first gen. Jetro got his boots. Heck yeah. Got his new set of boots. Leave a comment down below too. This doesn't count for the giveaway, but leave a comment down below too. What's your guys' favorite set of work boots? Like work boots. Like I wear my air boots and I freaking love wearing the things. They slip on easy, but they always like a good fit. Also, um, yeah, yeah. Another part right, right there. Okay. That's another part for the truck that's gonna be going on probably tomorrow, possibly. So <clears throat> stay tuned for that. But uh, yeah, we're gonna get up on the highway here. But thank you guys so much for stopping in and watching today's video. It was uh, it was a good day. Jesh's birthday. Wish him a happy birthday down in the comment section. Thank you. Um, his uh, Instagram, if you guys want to go follow my Instagram, is Tree Stand Ninja. So I'll leave that right here on the screen. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you guys did enjoy this video, definitely leave a like on this video. Don't forget to leave those comments down below. Subscribe if you have not to join the team, join the family. I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Peace. Going day to day, but I know it takes time and I'm patiently waiting. Sometimes I contemplate, cause one day you feel so close and the next is out of sight. But I know I gotta hold on tight to go back to just going out every night. Like if I'm about to let it go now, I can live alright, live a normal life, do a nine to five. But I know I'm more than that. I gained this skill, wasn't born with that. At the end of the life, it's a memory.